Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy, coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talking all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our community services series. We're going to be talking about a little gem in Lake Orion you may or may not know about, the Orion Art Center. And joining me today to talk about the Orient Art Center is board treasurer Julie Sugg. Without further ado, let's get Julie on to join us. Hi, Julie. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. It's so nice to have you join us today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Um, as I, I mentioned, we've been doing this community services series and just talking about some of the different um, offerings that there are in Lake Orion. And the Art Center is one of those hidden gems that I think some people definitely know about, but others, this could be like a new, you know, new things for them to learn today. So, yes, we do seem to be tucked um, down by the, the Paint Creek there. And some people still don't know that we're there. So, yes, thank you for having us. This is great exposure for us. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hoping uh, after today, more people will know about the Art Center how long it's been around and what um, what offerings there are. So, yeah. Um, so the art center has been around since 1979 when a group of local artists decided to get together and create a cultural center. Um, and then they received the the house that we're in right there on at the end of Anderson at the Creek. Um, yep. We've got the parsonage from the um, Lake Orion United Methodist Church. Okay. Um, and then the village donated the little plot of land. Um, and then in 1981, the Orient Art Center officially opened its its doors for art classes and experiences. That's fantastic. So what's that's 40, about 40 years now you're celebrating. Uh, yeah. Wow. That's yeah. okay. It doesn't seem like it should be 40, 40 years from 81. But and yeah. so that that building, that original building, which is still there and still being used, is down at the end of Anderson Street in downtown Lake Orion right next to the Paint Creek Trail and there's the bridge and actually the um, the Paint Creek and then the Paint Creek Trail goes right past it. So That's over the correct. bridge. Yeah. We're at the trailhead actually. Yes. So you uh, lots of people pass by it yep. um, every day. The There's a lot of traffic on the trail and we're really excited to be there um, because uh, it really does seem like over the years people have started really using that area a lot more. Not to mention Children's Park is right there yep. and Cookies and Cream. And there's just always yeah. a lot of it. And the horseshoe pits are there. Horse, and right, and yes. I also believe it's like a pokey stop or a pokey gym because I know my there, son <laughs> always wants to go there. So there's a lot of pokey stuff happening. In yes. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Yeah. Yes. So, so the art center, so it's been around for about 40 years. You have the location that's uh, right in downtown Lake Orion. Um, but there have been a couple other locations that um, that have been around as well in yeah, more recent that's years. Right. That's correct. Because it's a, a, a smallish house, mm -hmm. uh, we can't really do all of our activities there. We have a full service pottery studio at the Moose Tree Preserve, which is right next to Weber Elementary School. Yep. Currently, we're not able to access that um, location because the district is remodeling Weber. Um, so in the meantime, we are at our pop-up location, which is right on Broadway next to Bitter Tom's. And we've been okay. doing uh, all of, uh, lots of really fun summer activities and arts and crafts right there on Broadway. So Great. right now we are juggling a few locations. We had some structural issues at the Anderson building, which we have now fixed. Nice. Um, so we are excited just to be everywhere. You can find yes. us all anywhere yes wherever uh wherever you are there they are <laughs> there the yeah. art center is yes so, so first we have a website that people can visit which okay is brainartcenter.org and that explains where we're at and what we're doing okay and and there's there's so there's classes right there's yeah so let us have, know what yeah what is the art center doing currently right so we do have a wonderful full service pottery studio where you can learn hand building and wheel throwing classes we have kilns that's at the moose tree preserve location which will open again when school starts okay um we also do just lots of um arts and crafts as well as fine art instruction we have private art parties we have um 
Uh, we'll have art exhibitions again uh, at the Anderson location. We have a holiday market where you can purchase all your gifts, yes. handmade arts and crafts gifts. Usually that's during, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas season. Yes. Um, I... So there's that. I'm sure I'm missing oh, <laughs> um, some things. But yeah, I mean, we try to do it all and cover uh, a lot of bases during um, covid we do art, art kits. So if you yep. don't feel comfortable coming down and sitting with us and having a class, which of course we understand, you can just come by and scoop up an art kit that has all the instructions and supplies. So you can take it home and enjoy that with yourself or your children or however, whatever. We're, yeah. we're just trying to cover all the bases. That's great. So if you just want some extracurricular or maybe if you have kids that you're homeschooling and you want to do like an art project, art class, you could do the, the pickup kits. And I know you had mentioned the private art classes. So if somebody wanted to throw a birthday party or retirement party or any type of occasion, just get together with your, your friends. Um, it sounds like that's something that yeah, is available we, as well. Yes, we want we want to be really flexible and meet everybody's needs. We did have um, summer camp, art summer camps for kids over the summer, which was great. We've done you you name it. Our staff is willing to work with anybody just to, yeah. to get that to happen. Well, I know I was really excited to learn about the full service pottery studio and that you do offer beginner classes because I've never done anything and that's on my list. Um, I don't know if you want to call it a bucket list because it's not, you know, it's, it's more of a short term, like here's, here are some fun things that I want to try list. So, um, yes, I know. Absolutely. We do have some experienced instructors and that's their passion and they really do want to welcome anybody in the community at any level to come in and learn how to do that. They will support you in all your needs as far as just enjoying the medium. It's mm -hmm. so fun and enriching. So we're here again, we're here to help. We want, okay. we want to see you get involved and have fun. Yes. And so whether you're a beginner or you mentioned as well, there's like a dragon pass or something that if you, this is what you do, or you have a real passion for it. Um, right. and you want to do, you know, go regularly, you can do that as well. Yes, we do have what's called a dragon fired membership. So for okay. those folks who really just, uh, enjoy it, but maybe work full time or, don't can't get away at your traditional hours when we're open um we have opened the studio up at any time and for a membership fee you can come and work um whatever is most convenient for you um at whatever level you're at um and it's just again we're just trying to be really flexible to work you know we we, we understand people just have a, an array of needs and hours to which they can dedicate to it and we just try to make it easy Sure. Well, and you know, there's so many studies that show that art, you know, and just being creative, it can reduce stress and anxiety and tension. Um, some people like you just, you know, that's just a part of who you are having like that creative side and needing an outlet for it. So I think it's wonderful that we have this right in our community, um, you know, for whatever your artistic desires or skill level may be. <laughs> I agree completely. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I myself try to do at least 15 minutes of art or creating every day. It is so beneficial um, in many areas. And a lot of people think, oh, I can't draw a stick figure. Well, it's really not about that. It's about just learning the mediums, whether it be paint or drawing or clay, and just kind of letting, letting go and not yeah. having expectations. It's so fun and very liberating. And so we just recommend everybody just try it. And yeah. uh, maybe it'll, you know, maybe it's your jam. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know I'm going to be trying some things this fall, so I'm looking forward to it. And another thing that I'm looking forward to, one of my favorite weekends of the year is coming up next weekend, right? August 26th through the 29th, uh, Dragon on the Lake. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we're really, really excited to be able to have this, um, our most single, our single most impactful fundraiser again um, next weekend. You know, uh, we didn't, we had a very small version called Crafty Dragon last summer, but it wasn't anywhere near what we offer on a good year. So yeah, yes. we're going to have, um, we'll have a wonderful live music, which I think people really enjoy coming out and seeing the live bands at our Dragon Pub and our Tiki Bar. Um, of course, we're going to have the dragon boats, which is really exciting. That's yes. a very unique experience. Yes. If you um, haven't checked out the dragon boat races, um, whether as a viewer or participating, I've done both. And it is 
so much fun. Um, the energy, the excitement, like just being on the water. Um, the dragon boat races are, they're fantastic. So it I'm is. excited it's, that they're back yeah. again this year. It's an experience like no other. Right. <laughs> and I, it is really fun and challenging. And it's just the camaraderie and being out yep. on the lake, of course, is really exciting. So yeah. we're looking forward to that competition again this year. We also are going to have what we're calling a little dragon den, which is where kids can come. And we have a, li a live sand castle sculpting uh, exhibit, I'll call it. Oh. Uh, they're going to be making a giant sand castle dragon. And the fun thing about it is the kids can get involved. They're going to have, they're going to truck in some sand and they're going to teach the little ones how to make sand castles. So they'll get to play in that. Uh, we're, we're also going to have live pottery. So this will be okay. Great. Yeah. So come check out the live pottery and ceramic demonstrations by our instructors at the Orion art center booth. Okay. Uh, we are also going to be offering a free craft for kids. It's this really neat dragon crown that they'll get to make out of paper. Um, of course, fabulous vendors, uh, arts and crafts and just local, uh, vendors will be there for that and then we're having our I believe it's the 12th annual chalk art challenge oh, where you can come yes. down and draw or whatever create whatever you want to create in a parking space there. Um, and there are some cash prizes for that individuals and teams of all ages can okay enjoy that. all that information is on the dragon on the lake website okay um, but so we're that we're that is really, really cool the the chalk art when you're walking down and you see like some of those creations uh it's they're awesome so it's really fun and we mm -hmm. have um we have a really neat group of young artists that come i've seen them probably the past two or three years come out and, and hone their skills and yeah. get better every year and families can do it can participate as a team yep um and that's really fun too to see that family uh building skills um it's just a really fun event for everybody and you don't have to be an artist to do that right um yeah so all that information is on the dragon on the lake website and we're really excited and hope the community comes out and supports us i think as i mentioned this is our single most impactful fundraiser this is what drives the omc's mission uh and helps us really get creative experiences to the community. Yes. Well, and it's such a fun event. It brings so much energy and excitement to the downtown, to the lake. Um, it really is a great community event. So yes, it's a fundraiser and it does help support, you know, the, the programs that are put on by the, by the art center all year round, but it's also just a fun event in itself. So Yes. Who doesn't love so. celebrating the dragon? Exactly. Exactly. Walking around the energy. I, I love it. I live in downtown Lake Orion. I love it when the streets are closed down and you can just walk down and walk through and it's just, it has a great vibe. Great, great feel. So great. I hope you stop by and say hi at the oh, Orion Arts booth. Absolutely. I'm moving a couple kids into college at the beginning of the weekend, but I definitely will, uh, will be stopping in. So oh. Um, so, well, thank you so much for joining me today, Julie. Is there anything else that we should know about the Orient Art Center? Anything that we, we didn't cover? <laughs> I think I know. I, I okay. just look forward to seeing everybody next weekend. And thank you for having us. Appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. Well, thank you for joining me. And thank you to the Orient Art Center and all of the volunteers that, you know, help to make this organization run. We appreciate you and appreciate you being a part of our community. So. So thank you so much, Julie. Thank you all for viewing, whether live or on the replay, and for tuning in. We'll see you next Tuesday on Team Tracy. Thanks so much. <laughs>